Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2023, K-Festa 6. This is Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. We have a, a super lightweight, that's 65 kgs, a fight here. Hayato Suzuki, who's on a three-win streak so far, against uh, from Thailand, Pakon PK Senchai Murtai Jin. Um, so, yeah, Suzuki himself is on this sort of streak of this win against uh, Pakon, who's based in Japan. He actually teaches well too, and he's got like multiple belts from. Let's talk belts a little bit about his fight record. Yeah. He's got 190 wins <laughs> and 45 defeats and five draws. He was chosen to be the MVP of 2013 as a Muay Thai fighter. Wow. Okay. He has also won in both the most important Muay Thai stadiums in Thailand. Wow. I mean, he's a champion, former champion from both the Lumping Stadium and the larger than. Right, because it's the two, that's the two kind of the <laughs> school, right? <laughs> Those are the two stadiums that are the most famous wow. and the most prestigious okay. ones. And he has the tattoos to uh, prove it. Let's see what happens. Round one. So I'm pretty one sure we're going to see a very experienced fighter here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to say the least. I like uh, Suzuki-san's uh, intention to go all in right from the goal. Mm. Bang, bang, bang. Good block, actually. Here we go. Whew. They're about the same age. Yes. 32 and 33 years old. Yep. Suzuki is obviously the, the taller one, about eight centimeters, but uh, I think Hakon has got a lot of stuff that we haven't seen yet from his uh, amazing yeah, with, the, with the 200 fight fight record, I'm <laughs> telling you, there's got to be so much more experience in there that um, he has a lot more uh, to pull out under the sleeves. Yeah, yeah, even with 45 defeats, that sounds like nothing when, you, when he's 190 times. That's crazy to think about. Two, oh, it's like 250 fights. Yeah. At, at age 32. Now, there's a little damage there to, or to Suzuki. It doesn't look like that way. That's a little wobbly there, but back into the fight. Oh, good body shot. Interesting to see how well he's actually adapted to the K1 rules. Yeah, I was going because to say. There's, there's not even a, a feeling of him wanting to go in and use elbows or clinching. Mm, mm, that, all the all the, all the Muay stuff, obviously. There's the K1. Yeah, yeah he, but yeah. he's really. He, it, he seems like he's really comfortable with it. Ooh. Shaking it off there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if Suzuki can use his uh, long reaches, or if that's gonna f not going to face Pakon at all. Mm. He started off really well, mm -hmm. but now he's slowed down a lot. Suzuki has? Yeah. Mm. And I think with someone that he's up against that I don't think he has the... Uh, the luxury of actually slowing down. Ah, yes. But then again, I feel like we've also seen so many Muay Thai fighters come in and just completely like control the ring just mm. through pure, you know, experience. Yeah. Being there. But I, don't, I think it's the first time I've seen someone with 190 wins. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. It's almost like, yeah, nice yeah. one. It's so almost cool. like seeing someone going to school. <laughs> Another day at the office. Uh, on. Here, yeah, let me yeah. let me teach you how to fight. <laughs> and maybe that's why he teaches when training with his too. How much height difference is it? It was 178 for Suzuki. Yeah. And he is 170. Mm. So it's almost 10 centimeters. That's actually yeah. a lot. Specifically in this weight class. Mm. But we'll see if Takon can teach a lesson or if it's going to be the other way around. Paco <laughs> look, looks like he's done this before many, many times. And he's looking in his corner, not sitting down. Well, I mean, he was busy in the, in the beginning of the mm -hmm. first round and then mm -hmm. just slowed down. 
it just really became um, parkour at the, the pace of the fight. Mm. His own style there, if I call As he goes into the fight. <laughs> yeah, but I love his, his razor sharp focus. Yeah. <laughs> you, you need to start kicking like you were before. Mm. Oh, that was quick counter. for both mm. of them actually. They're really reacting to each other nice. <laughs> oh, dangerous knees there. He changes strategy just a little bit. Going for that, yeah. knee, that knee. knee gets you, yeah, it's around to a knee. Jagged. Ooh. I love his defense, it's mm. so calm. Can't for that knee, he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, you know, nice. Pull off with a low kick there. Not make it, you know, it's, it doesn't mean much to pack on what it looks like. You know. Where it uh, counts, you just push the punch up all that in a you know, high kick. Mm, great kick. Mm. Very quick, that's for sure. Yeah. It looks like a natural reaction. Like, got right into it, we just swept him at the same time. That was round two. Was, was Pakon bringing more of the aggressiveness to that uh, round? No, but he was controlling it. Mm. Uh, I would say that was a draw on that round. Mm. Uh, but I'll give the first round to Pakon. Okay, yeah. Plenty of, definitely plenty of uh, knees. Which we, didn't, we didn't see a lot of that Muay thai uh, in the first round, but I think we saw a lot of that. Nice knees from Pakon. Yeah, I mean, suddenly it's like, oh, okay, I, I can, I can hit him with the knee, and then he just started going on. Mm. You see, a kick like that is so close to going just right up around his glove and hitting mm. him in the chin, but then it stopped. Yeah. He stopped his own kick. Okay. Definitely, definitely relaxed, Pakon there. Yeah, super relaxed, super <laughs> in control also. <laughs> But well, Hanto's actually doing quite well. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Round three. Okay, one super lightweight. Round three. He's gonna have to be way more aggressive yeah. in the third round yeah. if he wants to win oh, this yes. though. Let's see what he does. Suzuki versus Pakon. See? Mm. He pulls his kick short. Ah, so the, it doesn't quite let the yeah. reach do the, the, all, the, all the way. Go all yeah, the way. He doesn't mm. follow through on it. I wonder why. It's just the way he practices. Yeah. Almost uh, 
we'll find out what's the You can tell that he knows he has to be the aggressor and he's oh. also trying, but yeah. for that he has to do exactly what he just did there, let the hands go. Mm. Oof. That was hairy. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. okay, watch out. No count. No count on that one. Slip the mat with those ads on it. That's not a kick that actually physically hurts you, but it sweeps your leg like that, so you're using a lot of energy to get back up. And oh. it's also mentally, it's like, you don't know when that can ever come again. So it adds into the mind game of the fight. <laughs> Psychological wheeling and dealing here. That middle kick is just beautiful. Hey, oh, nice hey, one. There you go. Oh! oh. Suzuki, bring it to Paco on there. Like, good for him. Yeah. I think there's more of that left in Suzuki before this round ends. Well, he knows he has to knock him yeah. away. And not that Paco is going to make it any easier. That's crazy how once that happened, he reacted by just boxing him back mm. and getting the better of him, actually. Yeah, that, that was good. Very natural, actually. Yeah. When it, when it comes to experience, Hawkorn has, has a lot of it. Yeah. Well, but hats off to, uh, mm. to Suzuki for yes, actually trying it? everything, yes. He's got one more minute to try more. He wants to win. There might have been a little bit of a headbutt there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, again, nice. that kick. <laughs> You're laughing at him. That means he probably got hurt. Right, right, okay. <laughs> nice head movements there. Oh, again. Oh, we're running out of time. Mm. Oh, that must be so frustrating yeah. when all you want to do is punch and you don't have the time. Now oh, that's round three. That's dodging those long reaches of Suzuki. Let's see what that. I mean, I would like to see a draw, but I, I, I don't know. I feel like that, that he that he won the first round and then he just like so rolled it out. It? No. Yeah, Paco won yeah. round one, yeah. Okay. It depends on what you're looking at, right? I mean if you're yeah. Muay Thai judging it's probably Paco because he's got better, better middle kicks. Oh. Second judge. Thirty two. Oh, yeah. Pakon. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's 191 wins for Pakon Pique, Sanchai, Muay Thai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the first round he took, in my opinion. Yeah. It looks I'm so phased. I'm so unfazed here. Pakon. It looks like you're your, your happy looking convenience store manager, you know, like he's got this nice smile and, and uh, boy, but all the experience he's got. Yeah. One more win. That was a pleasure. A that was a pleasure to watch, actually. But yeah, I think Suzuki knows, has learned from that, he knows what to do. There's a trophy given to Pakon as we see some of that replay. That exchange was crazy. Wow, wow, the Suzuki was looking lost in here, yeah. Oh, back to the office again for uh, Pancon as he trains others and trains himself maybe for another fight and what we'll see him. Thank you all for watching. Uh, this was the K1 World Rugby 23. K Festa 6, I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.